The really good thing about the case in BC, identical to the cases in Ontario, is that it was quickly identified that the person uh, had identified themselves to health professionals before they went to uh, get treatment and testing and the appropriate infection precautions were put in place. So this is exactly what we want to happen in the system is uh, that if there is somebody who is feeling ill, who's recently returned from the area of concern in China, uh, that they are calling ahead. And so the question about um, will we see a case in Alberta, it's possible that we could see a travel related case in Alberta. If that were the case, again, the precautions that we're taking, the advice that's being provided to returning travelers to contact HealthLink uh, so that we can make arrangements for care and testing uh, that don't put other people at risk of being exposed would be exactly what we would want to have happen in Alberta and what all of our systems are working to put in place. Well, we have no probable or confirmed cases of coronavirus in Alberta and so as I acknowledged it's possible we might get a travel related case. Our systems are structured to identify those cases early and make sure that infection control measures are put in place to contain that. Whereas we know that influenza is currently circulating uh, out in the community and so it would be very likely that people would be uh, either out um, kind of in, in public and being in contact with people who have influenza or having somebody, a family member who has influenza and, and being at home again. So it's really the risk is more about uh, the presence of influenza and the fact that we don't have any probable or confirmed cases of novel coronavirus in Alberta. What I want to emphasize is that even if we did see a case that came into Alberta that was travel related, the risk to Albertans remains low because when we say that we're talking about the risk of an Albertan who's going about their daily business uh, the risk that they would be exposed to this virus is extremely low. Uh, again, all of our precautions are being taken to quickly identify any imported cases and to um, contain them and prevent any further spread. Things that aren't familiar to us are always something that uh, produces more fear. And this is a, a new virus. It's jumped from an animal reservoir to humans. We don't yet know what animal that was. So it's really natural that people are feeling afraid about something that's new. And that's why we're wanting to make sure that we're being transparent, sharing all the information we have, because when people have more information about the things they can do to protect themselves, like hand washing, uh, like um, staying away from other people if they are feeling ill, protecting others or covering coughs and sneezes, it gives people a sense of control uh, that this is something that measures like, again, uh, respiratory etiquette, those covering coughs and sneezes, really regular hand washing, not touching the hands to the face and eyes. Those are things that protect against both influenza, which we know a lot about and is still serious, as well as new viruses like the novel coronavirus that are spread by the same mechanism.